Okay, so let's take a look at these few practice problems from 5.7. First one, we are doing the indefinite integral of x over negative 2x squared plus 7. And so in this case, as you look at this, we can't apply the power rule. This is not a derivative that we're familiar with. Um, and there's no composite function. And so I would attempt a u substitution for that denominator. And we can see that a u sub for the denominator is actually going to be pretty helpful because it leads to a du of negative 4x dx, which is pretty close to the other stuff that we have here in the integrand. So we need to put a negative 4 in front of the x, though, which means it will be offset by a negative 1 fourth in front. And this can be rewritten as negative 1 fourth integral of du over u, because negative 4x dx is the du and negative 2x squared plus 7 is u. So this is equivalent to negative 1 fourth ln absolute value of u plus c and then we can just back substitute in for u. So negative 1 fourth ln absolute value of negative 2x squared plus 7 plus c. And so that appears to be choice c. Negative 1 fourth ln absolute value of negative 2x squared plus 7 plus c. Yep. Okay, number two. Let's do the indefinite integral of cosecant of 2x. Now, we are going to pretend that we know what the antiderivative of cosecant is. And we saw this in the last video that the antiderivative of cosecant was negative ln of the absolute value of cosecant of x plus cotangent of x plus c. So the substitution that I'm going to do is going to involve the 2x. So let's start with that. We'll say u is equal to 2x du would be equal to 2 times dx. So I have to put a 2 in the integrand and a 1 half in front. And my, int my whole integral becomes 1 half integral of cosecant of u times 2 times dx gets replaced by du. And like I said, we know this now. So let's substitute in the indefinite integral of cosecant. It is negative ln absolute value of cosecant of u plus cotangent of u, and then we'll say plus c. So the very last step is to back substitute, back substitute in for u. So this becomes negative 1 half ln absolute value of cosecant of 2x plus cotangent of 2x plus c. And this appears to be one of these choices. Which one is it? Uh, is it a negative one half ln cosecant of two x plus cotangent of two x plus c? Yes, it's a. Okay, and let's go to number three. Let's use integration to find the particular solution of the differential equation dy over dx equals ln of x over x, which passes through the point one negative six. So when I'm solving a differential equation, a lot of times what I'll do to start is I'll bring this to the other side. So I have dy equals ln of x all over x times dx. I integrate both sides. The integral of 1 dy is y. And now we're doing the integral of ln of x over x dx. Now here, ln of x all over x is not a function that we're familiar with as a derivative. We cannot apply a power rule. We actually here would never let u equal the denominator of this function either. And we don't really see a composite function. Um, and so the only option at this point is really to let u equal the ln of x. And you'll see right away that that's actually going to be really helpful because du is going to be 1 over x times dx. And that's exactly what all of that is right there. So this becomes y equals the integral of u times du. Because the 1 over x dx gets taken out, and in its place, we put in du. So we end up with u times du in the integral. And so we have y is equal to u squared over 2 plus c back substitute for u, and we end up with the ln of x quantity squared all over 2 plus c. And the very last step is to plug in for x 
and plug in for y. But the natural log of 1, when you plug 1 in for x, is 0. So your c value, this, this whole term is going to become 0, your c value is just going to equal the y value. And so your c value ends up equaling negative 6. If you need to actually take the time and plug in 1 for x and negative 6 for y and solve for c, you can. But hopefully you also see that this term disappears. So c is equal to negative 6. So the final solution, ln of x squared well, all over 2 and then minus 6. And so this would be, looks like e. Okay, so I hope this helps, and now you can tackle the 5.7 homework.